The CDC put off making any decision today about the recommendations for the Johnson & Johnson's coronavirus vaccine. Its use has been paused across the country. The CDC says it needs more information about a rare type of blood clot discovered in six women days after getting the J&J &J shot. And today, ABC 7's Dylan McKim was able to ask El Paso officials about how this pause will affect the vaccination efforts here. He joins us now live. Dylan. Stephanie, the temporary pause of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine will take one of the three vaccines used here in El Paso out of rotation for the time being. The message today from Dr. Hector Corranza and city officials, don't panic and continue with the vaccine rollout in El Paso. What impact does Johnson & Johnson have? The question on people's minds after the city announced they would follow the guidance of the CDC and pause the use of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. In terms of the vaccine rollout, the city has one less vaccine to give out, meaning they will not be able to reach as many people. But the impact may not be as serious for the city. I would say, of course, any, any vaccine off the shelf, it has an impact on us. But what we've seen in El Paso is very little of Johnson & Johnson actually come into our community. Let's put things into perspective. According to state data, 16,000 people in El Paso County have gotten the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. A little over 1,200 of those people were vaccinated by the city. Fire Chief Mario Diagostino says they are still requesting the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines, and Diagostino is still waiting to see the larger shipments of doses that were promised by the federal government. We've heard that since January. We still haven't seen it. The city can distribute 80,000 vaccines a week. The combined number of vaccines sent to all providers in the county this week did not even crack 40,000. And it should not be a cause of panic or alarm. Also, this pause raising questions whether people will trust the J&J &J vaccine. Dr. Hector Ocoranza telling people not to panic. And the people that have received the vaccine should not be concerned. Important to note, the FDA is still looking for evidence that ties the blood clots to the J&J &J vaccine. And Dr. Okolanza believes the setback is not scaring away El Pasoans from getting their shot. We are very fortunate that the people in our region are very accepting of this vaccine and they're still registering to get the vaccines. And Dr. Okoranza wants to remind everyone that got the J&J &J vaccine to look out for these symptoms. A severe headache, leg pain, abdominal pain, and shortness of breath. If you get those within three weeks of getting your shot, you need to go see your health care provider immediately. Reporting in the downtown area, Dylan McKim, ABC7.